hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel welcome for those of you who are new here today i'll be showing you how to draw a pie chart yes a pie chart it is important in life science because you're always going to get a graph you just need to know all the graphs so i will be showing you how to do one and don't forget to like comment and share to your friends so that they may also do well let them know too so i will go straight into the video i'm not here to waste your time so um <laughs> let's go into it Okay, so I am going to read. Um, I'm going to read the case study here. So it says the placenta serves as a barrier, preventing infections and harmful substances from reaching and from reaching the developing fetus. However, some drugs and viruses cannot be filtered and put the developing fetus' health at risk. Recent study in a certain country with a population of 38 million women gathered information on the number of women who miscarried as a result of pathogens, alcohol, smoking, and other factors. The results are shown in the table below. Okay. They give us um, the data in the form of a table. So cause of fetal death, HIV, SARS-CoV-2, alcohol, nicotine, and other factors. Percentage of women who had miscarriage. Okay, 2.4.1, they ask us. Draw a pie chart representing the results as indicated in the table above. Okay, so I am going to... Okay, first, a pie chart is a circle, right? And a circle has 30 degrees, okay? It's 360 degrees, sorry. A circle has 360 degrees, right? And this is just figures in... Um, no, this is just percentage, sorry. This is just percentage, so we have to figure out a way to divide this 360 degree circle in percentages right so i am going to jump straight into the calculations so how we figure out what to do when it comes to this we have to okay now they said percentage so we know that this must add up to 100 so just to verify i am going to go on my calculator and i'm gonna add everything up 5 plus 3 plus 35 plus 40 plus 17 it gives us 100 okay it's not every day you will find a percentage but you have if you, they don't give you a percentage you're gonna have to figure it out on your own and we do know that to find a percentage for example some someone has five out of ten to find the percentage of that five we'd have to say five over ten times hundred right so that would be like 50 percent right okay you know how to find a percentage now let me leave that out i have to focus on this so um we have to change this into degrees right because a circle is in degrees so it is very very important that you show all your calculations don't work out anything in your head don't do that because this thing is six marks right it's six marks so they want to see all your workings and stuff i think it's two or three marks for your working so you have to show everything so i am going to start by converting these percentages into degrees so to convert um a percentage into a degree i have to take my percentage right so this is basically a formula and then i have to say times 360 right times 360 the reason why we say times 360 is because the circle is 360 degrees but we divide it by 100 or you can just say the percentage divided by 100 times 360. It's the same thing. People like to shorten it up and say the percentage times 3,6. Because if we cancel here, it would be 3,6. So in order for you to find out the degrees that you have to um, draw in the pie chart, it's either you say your percentage, which already is given us to is given to us here and then um times 3,6 or times 100 times 360 divided by 100 so yeah just take a look at this real quick and note it down so i've worked everything out of camera for the sake of time so i'm going to begin with my graph right so i have to have a heading remember a heading needs to uh, have you know your your independent and dependent variable so the number of women who miscarried i looked at you normally the the statement has your has your answer for you so the number of women who miscarried so this is your y very your y variable or your d 
dependent variable as a result of pathogens, alcohol, smoking, and other factors. So this is your X variable, right? Or independent variable. So I am going to have this as my heading. So I'm going to say percentage of women who miscarried who miscarried as a result so like being specific here it really helps you a lot like most of like all the time they just want you to be specific so they know what you're talking about so they know that you know what you're talking about and you know that you are uh, and that they know <laughs> that you know your work so it's very important to be specific and other factors okay or you can just add in a country of 38 million women whatever i'm not going to do that now okay so now to the important part drawing so okay so now to the drawing so for drawing you need a protector protractor <laughs> You need a protractor and a compass. I don't have a compass with me now. And I am going to use a protractor, protractor to draw my circle. So don't try this at home. Most of the time it does not give you accurate, but I've learned how to, it does not give you accurate degrees, but I've learned how to use it. And I'm using graph paper, so it makes it way easier for me. So I am going to draw a circle. So when you draw your circle, I suggest that um, due to scientific skills scientific drawings normally your radius must be at least five five centimeters so just have a diameter of 10 so i am going to draw my circle okay so now it's time to take this information and put it in this pie chart so as i've drawn my circle so if you used um which you're supposed to do if you used a compass so where you um put your point it's your center basically so where there's a hole that is your center so i marked my center with a dot so uh, what i do is i draw a line that goes through the center it can be from anywhere so as my benchmark line so what i'm going to do now is draw a line that goes through the center the diameter right so now it's time for me to start with my first one which is hiv so where i drew my dot and in your protractor where there's a, a a circle dot whatever that's where it's supposed to be so those two uh, this is supposed to be on this dot right here so what i do is i align it like that and this line must be in line with this line here this line on your protractor so i am going to do that so what i use i use the degrees outside because i'm working from this side so i align it like that make sure it's in line and the circle the center is in line with the center of my protractor and this line because i'm using graph paper this line is nine with 90 degrees is in line with so this 90 degrees is in line with this line sorry and so i am going to plot now so because um my circle is the same um size as my protractor so this line is obviously this uh, circumference is going to be in line with my protractor but if it's not it's going isn't it it's your circle is going to be bigger so you can um just use it the same way just that you have to elongate your line when you take it to the circumference so you'll see what i mean just now so um hiv is 18 degrees i go to my protractor zero this is 10 this is 15 16 17 18 i make a mark there right where 18 is then after i take my the straight side or a ruler or whatever i join this dot to this dot right make sure you use a sharp pencil for this for accuracy so like that so i make it dark because it's no longer a construction line 
and this also I make it dark because it is now a portion right so I erase this construction line now I no longer need it like that and what I do is I form another benchmark line so I elongate this new line right I elongate it using construction I'm not making it hard okay so now it's time for me to draw my next one right so you don't actually have to go in order it's actually up to you what you'd like to do so now i this line right on the protractor has to be in line with this diameter right and this point still has to be in line with this point i am going to do that make sure it's accurate like that So what I'm going to do now is find um, 10,8 degrees, right? So I am going to go here. And so 10, so it's almost at 11, like that. And I'm going to join this dot to this dot, like that. So, like that make it dark because it's a solid line erase this construction line because we no longer need it now this new line i'm going to elongate it for my new construction line like that right i'm going to turn and same procedure so i place it here in the center in line with this other line like that and I am going to start here from my zero. Make sure it's in line. From my zero to 126. So all the way, 120, 125, 126 is here. I do my dot and I join these, this dot to this center, right? So everything must be joined to the center like that. Erase this line, elongate my new line like that, turn my pie chart, the next one is 144 degrees. Remember when you plot you use your degrees not percentage otherwise it won't add up. So um, I do my standard procedure. And I said 144 degrees, right? So I'm going to go 144. Sorry, 145, 144 is here. And I'm going to join like that. Erase this line. So now I'm just going to draw a construction line just to check if this degree is equal to this degree right here so i'm just this is just for checking if it's not then you have to start over it means you did something wrong so i am going to check and it's correct like that erasing so it's, everything is in check all the degrees are accurate everything make sure it's neat don't end with construction line make sure your drawing is visible like it has to be visible don't use construction line for your final product so now I have to uh, fill in. I can't just leave it like this. Probably we won't get marked. So I have to label which is which. So HIV is this one. We started with HIV. And I am just going to write here 5% in brackets. Because this is actually a percentage. So when you have a situation like this, you see this is small and this can't fit in here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write it over here. Okay, in the exam, don't write outside your margin. You're not going to get marked. But because of space here, I should have moved my pie chart to the side. But don't ever write in your margin in the exam. Like outside your margin, you're not going to get marked. You're not going to mark that. And I'm going to draw an arrow like this. And I am going to, in brackets, 10,8. Sorry, 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 sorry. It's 3%. Mistake, my mistake. 
And then alcohol is 35%. And nicotine is 40%. And other factors are 17%. And just like that, your pie chart is done. Six marks, easy marks. So, yeah, this is everything. I don't think I missed anything. Yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Yeah. So this is how you, you draw it. Always include your calculations. They want to see them. Otherwise, you're going to get you, you're gonna get um, short marks. <laughs> so you're not going to get the full six marks. So this is how you do it. So it's, it's three marks. It's just three marks.